Yeah, right, let's go, please. All right. It's freezing cold right now. It's snowing right now. We're in a whiteout. My toes feel like they're frozen. This is how the mountain really is. How old are you, Tyler? 12. 12, okay, all right, all right. Have you done a lot of climbing? Yes. And what have you climbed? I've climbed Mount Aconcagua, and I set the world record on that when I was nine years old. And I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro at eight years old, and I was the second youngest to do that. Okay. And then I climbed Mount Whitney, and then several more. I think, in a way, it's even like harder than Everest in some ways, because Denali is a pretty big mountain and really cold. Some background on Denali is it's the highest mountain in North America. It stands at 20,000 feet and it is heavily glaciated. It's the hardest of the seven summits. I'm most looking forward to getting to the top of the Nolly so we have a better chance of going to Everest next year. I think it's a big climb for him. Weather could be really harsh because of the, it's so north. Denali has severe crevasses. Some of them you supposedly can't see the bottom of. They're so deep. Weather is a huge factor on Denali. It, it changes hourly. There's no weather forecast. Ned got a headache. I got frostbitten. Then you are by yourself. So then at least you can take care of yourself. Got it. Got it. My first impression uh, meeting with Tyler was uh, I thought like he is like a strange kid. <laughs> We're about to go on the six lines in about 20 minutes. There's no one. <laughs> and then there's Dave and there's me. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty awesome. He's extremely good, very good, I think, yeah, for his age. I mean, Luong's yeah. been with him on so many mountains. He knows how Tyler functions. He knows how Tyler will handle the altitudes. He knows that the higher you go, Tyler's gonna do better. It's just really cool because like some of like the top mountaineers don't even climb with the long and I got to climb with him when I was like nine years old. I set my goal of trying to do the seven summits. After I climb Mount Whitney, I've done three of the seven and that is Mount Aconcagua, Elbrus, and Kilimanjaro. I want to do all of the mountains, and I want to do as the youngest I can prove to people that kids can do it. Drop, Sammy. Drop. There are risks, but there's risks in everything. Uh, and I do feel like everything happens for a reason. I feel like this gift was given to him for a reason. Even though that doesn't make it any easier when they're gone, I think it just makes me feel better about it. And, and I don't sleep real well when they're gone, so if they're gone for too long, I'm not well rested. <laughs> He definitely has a determination. Sometimes I'm surprised he's like willpower and motivation. He's very strong on the summit day, far stronger than the other people. Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. in the morning, I put on my 45 pound backpack and I get ready to go and I walk on the treadmill for a whole half an hour. At home, he's very much like a kid in, in most aspects. So guys, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take some PKs. And so Jaden right there, he's gonna be our goalie. Then Nathan, Tammy, Lily, and me, we're all gonna go and take some shots of the goal right there. Oh! Tammy. Yeah, there's that gun right there. There's that gun right there, Nathan. One, two, three. I just want to get you guys comfortable with building this yourself so there's no questions in what this equipment does. It's hard for us to help you once we get up higher because it's very cold. It's very important that, you know, as a complete expedition member that you know all these parts and can do it all yourself. Yeah, there you go. Slide it up as much as you can. Now you stand up. That's a lot of work. 
and you just kind of inch your way up. The more independent you are up there, the higher chances of summoning. When we say cold, I mean, you yeah. he, he, he can be cold with all that on yeah. really easily. That, all that? Holy yes. cow. Oh, that's a whole new level of misery. I think are these ones are mine or yours, or they say Kevin or Tyler. Pants, pants. A thin face baklava. Bandana, yes. Shell jacket, heavyweight, down. Jackets. Okay, what else are we at looking at, Long? Regular climbing socks. Down boots. Insulated parka. Long underwear. Big duffel bag. Tons of different hats. Yeah. Keep pulling. I got my work gloves. Push your glasses. E-bottle. There you go. There you go. That can stay whatever close to your sleeping bag. What we do up here is we do three bags. Five and a quarter to seven pounds per bag. When you actually see that in a bag, it's going to look gross. Okay. Not food. You kind of want to mix it up, though, because it's your lunches for, like, three for weeks. Me. As much as, like, you might be like, oh, that's totally my favorite. If you have a favorite and you load it up as a favorite, you will never eat it again in the rest of your life. <laughs> Tyler's Fresh Trail Mix is another pound. First day when we were walking out to the um, first camp, you can feel it. You're, you're going over these small slopes. You can feel where the crevasses dip and everything, and you can feel where the crevasses are. So it was a little gnarly. I'm pulling a very heavy, heavy backpack on me. Then I'm pulling a really heavy sled. Yeah. I don't know if we're going up a steep hill or not. <laughs> See, it doesn't feel steep at all, but if I'm looking like out, the slope seems to like be slanted. So hopefully we're getting some elevation going. Okay, so day four of Mount Denali. Today was definitely a hard day. It was definitely a hard day because you're carrying 60% of the weight in your backpack and then 40% of the weight in your sled. So it's carrying a really heavy pack. Then also the cold. It got really cold when the whiteout came. But we got through it, luckily. But it was definitely an excruciating day. 14,000 is what they consider like base camp. It's where everybody kind of gets acclimated. That's North Summit, that's South Summit, that's the real Denali. Then here's camp, that's our tent. And then we're just building up a bunch of walls right here. We knew that the weather was coming in. We had heard that there's a storm coming in and we need to get there. Hear the wind going now, shaking everything, blowing snow into the tent. <laughs> it's so cold out here. You can't even go like outside of the tent, or right? you have to like put on like your puffy jacket. It's like Mission Impossible. <laughs> All right, so Tyler's gonna get a hot water bottle now. That's been heated up, hot water. Here, Ty, put it in your bag. This will heat up your feet. Keep you warm in the sleeping bag. So a hot water bottle in the bottom of your sleeping bag makes your day. We went really far. We started all the way down there along. Crazy. After 14, we got a, about expecting about a day and a half of good weather. So we're gonna make a push up to 17. Leaving 14 is where the real technical work starts. Hey, Luang, stop, stop, everybody stop. Can I put my leg on this side because it's not comfortable? Okay. 
yeah, it just bothers me. Okay, climbing. We're almost done with this part. We're almost good. Almost there, one step, one more step. One after another. And we get to about 19,000 feet, probably somewhere around there. And one of the other teams led by a head leader, they decided they were turning around. The weather was coming in. Um, they were kind of going a little slower than they needed. So when he turned his group around and then our group with the 12 year old, we're like, oh dang, like what should we do? You know, people are doubting what Tyler can do. Um, you know, they haven't seen Tyler in action where Luong and I know what he can handle. I said, look, hey, let's take the reins off of Tyler. Let's let him show you what he can do. I said, look, Tyler will perform better at altitude than he is here. And everybody kind of doesn't believe it. You can see the summit ridge and you can see like little dots going up to the side. So you, I got like this anxiety of people and I'm knowing like they're only a little bit farther away. Okay, climbing. He sped up and we just moved up the mountain. It should have taken us three and a half hours, given two and a half, and we got passengers going up. And then the whiteout came in, so you couldn't see any scenery really. And then there is like this little um, plaque that says highest peak in North America, Mount Denali, at 20,320 feet. Standing up there on the summit, it's, it's that sense of relief, but also that sense of excitement that he just accomplished a goal that very few people ever do. Denali's the hardest of the seven, so now I know that I've done the hardest of the seven summits, which is a great and amazing feeling to finally accomplish.